Hello and welcome, my name is Trader Shiko, and today's micro budget filmmaking video is about six production tools that you may have overlooked that will save you time, money, or frustration on set. To start us off, let's talk about getting a cart to help make loading into a location much easier. Now there are many carts out there, but this folding one is my favorite that I've used. It's around $85, depending on where you buy it from and the size that you buy, and it has been an immense lifesaver. I also have a folding hand cart, but I don't find it as useful for general gear moving because things can slide off. But for bigger or heavier items like my IntelliTech light cannon box, it has been amazingly useful because it does also fold up so you can bring it with you just in case you need to move something big. There are also rock and roller carts for loading gear, and these are more popular, but they're also more expensive. I don't own one, but I have used them in the past, and I generally prefer the cart that I have unless I was moving something much bigger. What I really like about my folding cart is that I can load my equipment into it and then lift it straight into my SUV. And then when I arrive, I lift it out and I roll on in with the first load, really easy and straightforward. Having equipment moving tools will save you a lot of time and energy because crew members now won't have to do one or 10 or 20 trips and get worn out before the work even actually begins. This is especially valuable for small projects where everybody's wearing multiple hats or you're a solo camera operator moving everything by yourself and it will save you a lot of time that'd be better spent setting up your equipment or shooting, not exhausting your team and yourself. Carts, to me, are a seriously underrated tool, and I will have a few affiliate links to all these kinds of carts and all the tools that I talk about in this video linked in the video's description down below if you want to purchase something for yourself and support the channel simultaneously. Tables are my second item, and much like the other things on this list, they're here because they seem boring and obvious. But when you're on set and you need them and you don't have them, you will feel their absence. A simple fold-out table can be used to create a gear prep space or a data management station really easily. And gone will be the days of holding your laptop and backup hard drive on your lap, you know, balancing act basically, trying to download memory cards because you figured the location would have a table and you guessed wrong. Save yourself the hassle and organize your space with a fold-out table. This tip goes double if you're working outdoors, so you aren't leaving gear on the ground or trying to like create a makeshift table by stacking up gear cases. That's just a recipe for disaster. And these tables come in so many different shapes and sizes. You get a smaller two by three pop-up, you could get a four by six banquet style, even a card table. Just, it will help with your organization so much. Speaking of sitting, don't forget chairs. Now, these don't have to be for the table in particular, but having a few folding chairs makes it so that your crew members will have a place to sit and rest when needed. And that both makes your set more safe and more accessible overall to people who might not be able to stand for as long. And it's just generally respectful to those people so they're not on their feet hours and hours on end. After several hours on your feet, a folding chair will offer a welcome reprieve, even if it's just for a few minutes. And once again, I've been on so many micro budget sets that didn't plan for anybody being able to sit at all, either from a lack of awareness or a malicious standpoint to make sure everybody was keeping working. Neither are fun and neither are respectful. Plan ahead and your set will be much better. Now jumping back to downloading memory cards on set and managing your data in general, don't forget to bring a laptop with editing software installed and a compatible card reader. If you're shooting anything of size, you probably will already have considered bringing a computer to data manage with, but also make sure that you have editing software installed on it. I like to use DaVinci Resolve installed on mine, and the free version of DaVinci Resolve could work for many people in this use case. But no matter what you use, having a way to open files on the laptop is critical. This way you can check to make sure your frame is proper on a bigger monitor, you can see if there was a mistake or a detail that was captured, and generally make sure that your files haven't been corrupted or accidentally deleted. The last two are nightmares to deal with, and you'll be better off if you have proper tools to check, not just, you know, Windows Media Player. And, you know, along these lines, don't forget to back up your footage to at least two drives. Make sure that you have a fully separate copy just in case you accidentally drop your laptop off your lap and it then tumbles out of the plane window and into a flaming pit of lava or some other realistic tragedy. Changing gears a bit here, protecting your team's health and safety should always be your priority, always. I made a video about this in particular recently, and I've linked that down in the video description. I think that'd be a valuable watch for most people. But to this list, I'm going to be adding K95 and N95 masks. Production is very much about being effective and efficient, and losing a team member to illness is neither of those. It will slow you down, and it will cost you a lot of money with rescheduling. 
beyond the damage that it does to people's bodies and lives. Masks are cheap, effective, and can be easily implemented on any production. If you don't know where to start, masks are easy to order from places like bonafidemasks.com, which is where my business sources are production masks from, including the one that I'm wearing right now. They're not a sponsor or an affiliate, I just like their business and their products. If you wear glasses like me, 3M Auras are also a great option. So get ahead of these issues by providing high quality masks on set for your productions to help keep every team member, your cast, your crew, everyone's families, and your entire community a lot safer. Lastly, and most simply, don't ever go to set without paper, pencils, pens, and maybe a marker or two. These kinds of basic stationary items come in handy all the time for a variety of reasons. You can label hard drives, you can make signs pointing people in the right direction as they enter the location, or maybe you need to take notes about shots, or you know, just cross out a line of the script as things change. With the stationary in hand, you'll be covered. It's easy to say that you could just type it out because you have a computer, but if you don't have a printer with you, making a printed sign is gonna be pretty hard. I keep mine in a literal, like elementary school, grade school pen bag. And all of these things together are maybe five or six dollars. It's not that big of an investment for something that will, you know, just save you some time, save you some energy, and save you from running around and asking everybody if they have a pencil you can borrow. So now, what are some of your favorite production tools? And do you have any that you think are overlooked? Tell me in the comments down below and we can see if we can get a good list going. If you like micro budget film production videos like this one, please give the video a like to help me reach new viewers. You can subscribe for upcoming videos about tools and techniques for cinematography, lighting, and micro budget filmmaking. And if you wanna purchase any of the types of equipment that I've been going over today, I have affiliate links down in the video's description that support this channel and these videos. You can find me at patreon.com slash where you can join for free or support starting at just $2. I'm on all sorts of social media websites where I hang out when I'm not on YouTube. You can find my Blue Sky, Mastodon, A.Cafe, Twitter, my cinematography Pinterest, and my filmmaking Tumblr links all down in the video's description as well. As always, protect the health of you, your team, and those around you by wearing a mask. And I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful week ahead of you. Peace.